Good morning. Welcome to the war. The information war. I'm D. Lake for Prez. It's August 5th, 2012. The big giant headline at Drudge Report. Serena does the crip walk. just surpassed Chick-fil-A as the biggest news, okay? That Chick-fil-A gay kiss-a-thon, it's history now. Serena did the crip walk. She was in the city of kings and queens. People were sipping champagne and eating strawberries and cream. Ooh. And Serena Williams had just ascended to the throne of tennis, becoming the second woman after Steffi Graf to win all four Grand Slam titles and an Olympic gold in singles. Over the previous 63 minutes, on the hallowed grounds of Wimbledon, Williams had absolutely obliterated the Russian superstar Maria Sharapova. She death stared down the blonde, leggy Barbie doll, sending lasers down the line, making Sharapova lunge all over the court, hitting left when Sharapova was running right, and then with a 120 mile per hour ace, secured her golden slam and her place in history. Then, the 30 year old, who will end her career as one of the greatest tennis players of all time, did something that could be interpreted two ways. As a stupid and insensitive celebration that dampened the crowning moment, or as a joy filled nod to her roots. The woman who grew up in Compton did the Crip Walk. For the uninitiated, the Crip Walk is a funky little hip hop dance move made famous by Crip Gang members in Compton in the 1970s. And there was Serena, the tennis legend the winner of 14 individual Grand Slams, the best player of her generation, the American girl becoming crowned at the All England Club as the queen of tennis, crip walking all over the most lily white place in the world. Listen here, Serena Williams. The London Olympics is no place for your damn Compton Crip Walk, okay? Just because you grew up in Compton, Serena, you and your sister there, right? <laughs> Good thing you didn't eat any barbecue or anything like that. Maybe, maybe she was drinking a 40 on the sidelines. Huh? Some OE? Huh? She did the crip walk. Oh man, that funky little hip hop dance. That's cool. She's doing the crip walk, oh my. We know what that is, we know what that means. Oh man, you did the crip walk. Now you're dipping into waters of controversy even as you ascend to the top of your sport, Serena. It was just me, I love to dance, she told a swarm of reporters afterward. <laughs> a swarm of reporters. D hey, did you guys see that crib walk? Let's get down there right away. Serena, what were you thinking when you did that crib walk? You know, she grew up in Compton. Crip walking. It's a funky little hip hop dance. But we need to know all about that right away. Why did you do that crib walk, Serena? What does this mean? <laughs> hey, you guys want to hear how this guy's spinning this? Listen to this. Okay, she's always wanted to win. Deep, deep down, she wanted to win. Okay. This was also the extraordinary American tennis star losing control for a moment and crip walking at Wimbledon.
Blinded by her joy, she walked all over her crowning moment. If you say so, pal. I'm D Lake for Prez. This is the big news. Serena did her Crip Walk. Congratulations to Serena Williams for uh, just being a great American champion in the Olympics and uh, ascending to the new heights of tennis. And uh, may she be remembered for all her great achievements and uh, not her unbridled joy on display there at Wimbledon uh, Tennis in London or whatever with her Crip Dance. Okay? Her Crip Walk. Okay. <laughs> the author says it's been around, you know, from the 1970s, that funky little dance. So, I mean, she's doing a 40-year-old funky little dance. If they can't deal with that in London, then what hope do we have? All right? Let an American be an American. I'm d Lake for Prez, and that's how I see it. So, that's how it is. Okay, like I said, blowing that Chick-fil-A story out of the water.